Miller Middle School students will start the school year in temporary locations as the grand opening of the new school building has been delayed due to fire damage. The San Juan Brewfest returns for the fourth year with over 100 different types of beer and cider available to sample. Make sure to plan your ride for safety. And the Boggy Draw Beatdown returns this weekend. You're watching the local news roundup brought to you by Happy Pappy Pizza and Wings and Fast Signs Durango. I'm Sadie Smith. A fire on June 16th at the Miller Middle School building damaged key electrical components, meaning students will begin school at alternate locations while replacement parts are ordered and final work is completed. The fire, the cause of which is still under investigation, damaged the main disconnect, a piece of equipment that powers the whole building. Durango School District 9R anticipates the delay to accommodate ordering a new main disconnect and the subsequent work will take between 5 and 10 weeks to complete. With school starting on August 20th, a temporary location was needed for the students. Ninth grade students will start classes at the Impact Career Innovation Center. Seventh and eighth grade students will start classes on the west wing of Durango High School and some elective classes will take place at external facilities including the Durango Recreation Center and the Boys and Girls Club of La Plata County. Find an FAQ on Project Angel Flight, the name of the transition for Miller Middle School between temporary locations. And an updated timeline can also be found on the website. Additionally, after feedback from families, a dirt path that provided access from West 28th Street will remain open once the Miller campus opens. The trail provides an alternative route to the school other than Junction Street. To alleviate safety concerns, a new perimeter fence will be installed with gates at the path access points. Families will receive messages about safety and consideration of neighbors to help with the issue of noise complaints. The San Juan Brewfest returns this year, running August 23rd through 24th. Tickets are on sale now. Friday tickets have a 20% discount. All ticket holders will receive a souvenir tasting glass, which can be used to get free samples from over 40 participating breweries. This year's lineup includes a mix of old and new breweries, with each one providing at least three different styles to sample. Brewfest has once again partnered with Anima City Theatre to provide a soundtrack to the event. This year's lineup includes The Magic Beans and Dragon Deer from Denver and the local band Little Wilderness. Stay safe and plan ahead this year to avoid drinking and driving. There are designated driver tickets available for half price. DDs can get free mocktails provided by Seasons Rotisserie and Grill, El Moro Spirits and Tavern, Ska Brewing, and Sunnyside Farms Market. Take advantage of the free summer public transit. Call a cab or a friend to pick you up after the event or use the Durango app for a ride anywhere in city limits from 5 p.m. to midnight for only $2. The 26th annual Boggy Draw Beatdown Bike Race is happening Saturday, August 3rd. Courses include a 60-mile, 33-mile, and 18-mile trail, as well as three-person 60-mile relay race. All races will start and end at Flanders Park in Dolores. A new category has been added this year for racers over the age of 65, as well as a three-mile family-friendly fun ride called the Easy Breezy. Course maps and registration links are available on the Boggy Draw Beatdown website. Learn more about these and other stories online at DurangoLocal.News. Thank you for watching this edition of the Local News Roundup. I'm Sadie Smith.